Hey guys, welcome back. And today we're going to be taking a second look on the surface. And as you can see here, I have already have one surface set up. And the first thing I, I want to show you is how to calculate its area. So we just write an area like this. We, we connect them. Now, as you can see, we have this little point here in the drawing, which is the centroid. And now the area up here on this output. Now we can simply read the area that is written down down there. We can set up a panel and get it there. Or if we want to see it in in 3D space, simply write in tag, a pickup text tag, and now first off for location, place in the centroid and then place in the text for the the area. And, and as you can see here now expanding and contracting we have the area value okay now the second thing I want to show you is how to work with divisions on your plane we simply need to write in here a device surface like this and now we just we just add in our surface and as you can see we already have a default division set up and now if we add in a number slider I'm just gonna place one with with 10 copy and paste it and then the same thing again and then by by adjusting we can we can adjust its divisions and then by having points here you can just run in polyline like this place in these verts and now you have at least one kind of uh, connection and if we write in flip matrix which is right here place it there now copy and paste this. We now we now have lines in both directions. Essentially a grid. Okay, and now last but not least, I want to show you extrusion, which will be a stepping a very important st uh, stepping stone from going to t from 2D to 3D, which will which will allow us to e extrude our plane. And now we just write in. I'm going to put in a Z unit. A Z axis. Now, if I can pick this up like this, we now have our extruded, extruded uh, surface here. Okay, guys. Hope you like this small tutorial. Uh, please like and subscribe for more videos. And I hope to see you here next time.